much of the urbanisation that's taking place in the Commonwealth is unplanned. Nearly 50% of the projected growth to 2050 is forecast to take place in the Commonwealth. That's a billion more people in cities in the Commonwealth in the next 30 years. And with all the consequences that has in terms of informal settlements, the spread and expanse of cities, and the impact it has on, on prosperity and health and well-being. You know, things that any government is going to worry about, you find them in the informal settlements. So we need concrete information so that if there are interventions to be made, we know exactly what's happening. The steps that need to be taken to remedy this um, are, are fairly straightforward, but they would require some muscular government intervention. Government sees that this is a game changer and it's the reason why they are putting resources in it. So a map is critical. It's able to display the location of infrastructure and also government can easily make, uh, make decisions based on that. Having that informal settlement driver has been the absolute catalyst that has put us together to do this work. So how do we deal with some of these challenges? Because if we do what we've always done, we're going to get what we always got. And using uh, Ordnance Survey's advanced mapping techniques, working with partners uh, including the International Growth Centre and the Zambian Ministry of Local Government. Learning huge amounts from the, the contextual expertise they have, the understanding they have of, of the city and, and the challenges that they face. We've been able to deliver a, a map of Lusaka um, in record time, uh, with high degrees of accuracy, which can serve as a starting point for planning. The advantage that Ordnance Survey has got, it's got a very rich data set of Great Britain and we can use this information to train the algorithm which completely automates the process. So what we're doing is a form of deep learning. You start seeing that signal start appearing in, in, in the imagery that's not been seen before and then we pass it through the algorithm that essentially then classifies and learns what the various different features are. The amazing capability and technology that they've developed um, to create these geospatial data sets, it really allows us to see the city as a whole. Using traditional methods, it would take up to a week to capture a square km of an urban environment. Using our new technology, this is down to a matter of hours. Digital data, uh, including GIS-based base maps, you know, are fundamental in the process of planning and in helping to produce evidence-based solutions that can stand the test of uh, scrutiny uh, and produce ultimately bankable projects that will deliver real impact. I think the really amazing thing about this data is that it provides this base um, to which additional data layers can be added. I think it will open the eyes of the world into the art of the immediacy of this mapping being available. What we're showing here is that you can create this very quickly. I think what it means is that it will probably change the game for many countries in their ambitions to map at that very detailed level, enabling them to deliver these policy agendas around land administration, resilience, census, and all these things that require mapping to actually make the best decisions on. You know, the fact that uh, I, I even had the, the department that is in charge of this, uh, it makes me very, very proud and uh, I just pray that uh, I can even add more value, you know, to the uh, to the geospatial community and to the mapping uh, industry.